What is going on everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is John. Today I have for you a big box good. That's right, today we're going to be taking a look at the Car Scratcher by Whisker City I picked up at PetSmart for $39.99. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing and a first impressions. We're going to take a look at the quality of this Car Scratcher for cats. I'm going to talk about what I like about it, what I dislike about it. We're going to find out if this is worth $40. And last but not least, we will test this out. We will put it in front of the cat and see if he likes it. Now, I do have a scratch pad for the cat. I have two scratch pads. Uh, one, the SPCA gave me when I adopted him. It's just a plain cardboard scratch pad. He does use it. He likes it. He's attracted to it. But I also bought him a scratch pad from Walmart. It was maybe 15, 20 bucks. He does not use it at all. I've had that since the day I adopted him and he hasn't even looked at it. So I'll be curious to find out if he is intrigued by this car scratcher. I think he will. I think it's interesting enough looking uh, and it has a couple of little features in it, some toys basically that should draw him in inside the vehicle so he can scratch and play and things like that. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this unboxing and first impressions and be stick and be sure to stick around till the end of the video so you can see a really cute kitten playing inside this car scratcher. Let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so here in front of us you can see we have the Whisker City car scratcher. Now if you go into PetSmart, you'll be able to find other scratchers by Whisker City. You'll find a cactus You'll find a TV set, you'll find a skateboard, you'll find a cottage amongst other things. This was the most expensive of the options. The cactus was $20, the TV was $20, the skateboard was $20 from what I understand. The car was the most expensive at $40. A little bit disappointing because it is all cardboard. It shouldn't have cost $40 to construct this. And in addition to that, I would say six months from a year from now, this will definitely have to be thrown away because uh, with anything that is cardboard and is scratchable, uh, it will be messy. Uh, so this will eventually have to be thrown away because it should eventually fall apart. Uh, secondly, before we get into this unboxing and first impressions, there is a caution warning on the front of the box here saying that if your cat is maybe too small or if any of the toys inside concern you that your cat might choke on them for example they are removable so like i said i do have a 16 week old kitten the point of this review is to see if we can remove those dice or not just in case he were to be too small and could possibly choke on uh, any of the little parts used to hang the toy so without further ado, let's go ahead and get inside this box. Now, I don't think this will be for a mature cat. I think this is perfect for a kitten. Uh, so get your entertainment value out of it while you can. Spend the $40 now and uh, enjoy your kitten inside this really adorable uh, car scratcher by Whisker City. So let's go ahead and actually unwrap it and see what the quality of it's like. Okay, so like I was just mentioning, this will get messy over time and I think it will disintegrate over time. I think the reason this costs $40 is because it is designed for a kitten. It is designed to make you want to buy it because it just is so adorable. You can absolutely positively see your cat inside this and playing with it. It does uh, beg the question. It does sort of uh, make you curious about it and want you to buy it. So if you're someone who has a kitten, I think this is perfect. I think go ahead, spend the $40, get your entertainment purposes out of it, get you know a couple of good photo ops out of it, and then maybe six months or a year from now, throw it away. Uh, one thing that I am a little bit concerned about, which we will find out in the next segment, is my cat even attracted to this? now? I purchased this several days ago, so I have shown it to the cat. I have created some form of interest in the cat's mind about this car scratcher. He knows it's for him because it has the dangling toys in it and it's built out of a material he is familiar with. When I adopted him at the SPCA, 
a month ago. He's only been here with me for about a month. The first thing they gave me was a cardboard scratch pad. It looks exactly like this, but it's nowhere near as uh, adorable looking. It's just a plain cardboard scratch pad. So he does like the scratch pad, but other scratch pads he does not like. So I think this fits somewhere in the middle, which is also a good reason to want to buy something like this. This might actually bridge the gap between his basic cardboard scratch pad and his actual long-term scratch pad, which I expect to keep. So you can see what I absolutely adore about this car scratcher is it's three-dimensional, not two-dimensional. Whisker City does make a sort of two-dimensional cactus scratch pad. He could scratch the cactus from either side, but I just wasn't happy with the way the cactus worked. I thought this was sort of the creme de la creme, the car he could get inside of it. Just by looking through the back of it there is entirely scratch pad. The front of the hood or the top of the hood is a scratch pad. The cat can even jump on top of the car and scratch it. Now, one thing I am a little bit concerned about here is the roof is actually a separate piece connected to the side of the scratch pad here. So I'm a little bit concerned that this might bottom out one day if he's a little bit too heavy or jumps up on it or pounces on it. As you can see, I'm pressing my hand down on the center of the roof here and it is flexing inwards. And I think you can hear uh, me just pulling on it a little bit there and hearing some tearing. The best time to buy this car scratcher is when he or she is three or four months old or even younger. And before we actually see if the cat himself likes it, I quickly want to talk about how easy it is to remove the die in the window. As you can see, they are dangling uh, from the top of the roof here. In theory, if you wanted to remove this roof, you could probably just pop it out. Uh, there is no way to reattach the die, so I will not demonstrate removing them, but in case of an emergency, if your cat is choking on one of the pieces or is tangled around one of the pieces, maybe their claw is tangled around the cord here, you could easily cut the die off uh, or just remove the top of the roof here. It is cardboard. Let's go ahead and see if the cat likes this. Okay, so this is the first time he is ever seeing the car scratcher. Now he might be just a little bit nervous here because we are talking and we are making this video at the same time. Now I have shown him the car scratcher. Uh, he did seem interested in it, but like I was saying at the beginning of the video, uh, this will be a test. You know, can he sort of progress from the basic uh, scratch pad they gave me at the SPCA, it's just a cardboard scratcher. Uh, can he find some sort of interest or value in this? And then when I get rid of it, he can sort of uh, grow into his uh, long-term scratch pad, which is on the floor, which is your typical scratch pad with a little toy on it. It's sort of like a carpeted material. Uh, it can come in sort of like a rope material if you want a different style or design, it's all the same. Uh, but because he is four months old and doesn't really understand the importance of the scratch pad, you know, I do have to trim his nails every week. Uh, I need to get him interested in trimming his own nails and scratching his own nails, just in case there is a day I forget to clip his nails. Uh, scratch pads are a great way for cats to scratch their nails. Uh, but like I was saying, I need to wean him off the crappy cardboard scratch pad they gave me at the SPCA and get him using his long-term scratch pad, the one that's on the floor in the living room now uh, that he just does not care at all about. Uh, the saving grace and why I purchased this was because it actually has the toys on the inside. Not only is it intriguing looking and is a place where the cat can sort of play and go inside. It does have toys on the inside that will attract a small kitten, right? Which 
is one thing he loves is small toys, right? I have a ton of toys for the kitten and he absolutely loves them. They're the only thing that he plays with. So will a combination of this really cool and adorable scratch pad with the dice hanging in the window be enough for him to get inside and explore and scratch and enjoy. Don't go anywhere. Okay, so let's go ahead and see if we can get him inside the scratch pad here. Go ahead, go inside. Yeah. See, let's start with getting him on top of it and see if he will scratch. Yes, it's okay. Yeah, it's just a toy. It's just a toy. As you can see, he is getting big already. He is uh, four months old, three and a half months, and he is pretty much the size of the roof. He is long. Uh, I don't think he'll be able to turn around on the inside as easily. And actually, he may already be too big for it, which is the reason why he's not going in. But I'm not really sold, and I'm not gonna force him to get inside. But I think this is a good starting point here, right? That he can pretty much sit on top of this scratch pad. This cat currently weighs about three and a half, four pounds, maybe a little bit more, but let's say your cat weighs 10 pounds. He might just pounce on top of this roof and it might just cave in. So let's go ahead and perform a last ditch effort here and see if we can get him it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. And see if we can get him to just... to just explore the car scratch pad. Because he likes to scratch other things in the house. Furniture, uh, clothing, you name it. So it would just be nice for him to transition or to just find enjoyment in something like this. But so far, I'm a little bit skeptical, but he may be just a little bit too big for this. So anyways, guys, that has been an unboxing and first impressions of the Whisker City Car Scratcher. I picked up at PetSmart for $39.99. Because I picked it up at PetSmart that does make it a big box good, I really hope you enjoyed that unboxing and first impressions. We talked about some of the things I like about this, what I dislike about this. We saw what the cat liked and disliked about this. I think he was maybe just a little bit skeptical of it. He hasn't seen this before. He hasn't smelt it before. Uh, he hasn't been put down near it before. I think it was just natural for him to be a little bit skittish and a little bit skeptical of it. I think another thing you may have noticed was I failed to get him inside the vehicle. That's because he's just a little bit too big. As I was trying to get him inside the back of the vehicle, I would have bumped his head up against the side of it or his legs or his tail and I would have just made him uncomfortable and I probably would have hurt him. But I think if he would have been maybe four or five weeks old, you could have easily put him down inside this scratch pad and kept him there to take pictures and things like that. So that is to say, I think at four months old, uh, he is just a little bit too big, a little bit too old maybe a little bit too energetic and rambunctious to be using something like this. Uh, with that being said, I think if your cat is a little bit younger, maybe three or four or five weeks old, this will be perfect. Uh, especially if you're adopting a cat from an SPCA uh, where they play with similar constructed scratch pads. They're usually constructed out of cardboard, but they aren't as robust as this, they aren't as big, and they don't look as intriguing. Uh, this also has the toy dangling in the car window that will also attract them to it. Uh, the point of this, I think, is to get them uh, disassociated with that cardboard scratch pad and get them using something that's a little bit more long-term that you can keep in your uh, bedroom or your bathroom or your living room to keep your cat entertained. But like I said, I think at four months old, he's just a little bit too big for this, a little bit too energetic. I could not get him inside. Uh, and last but not least, I think this is just a short-term solution and a good training tool due to the fact that it is built out of the cardboard. 
The downside is that it is expensive at $40. However, it will be adorable and cute if you can get your cat inside of it to take pictures. Otherwise, I think this will be awesome for maybe four or five months and then you'll pretty much want to throw it away and get your cat using just a regular scratch pad. I think this will eventually become hard to clean uh, and won't look as uh, pretty as it does now. Anyways guys, with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and close out this unboxing and first impressions. I really like this adorable car scratcher. The unfortunate part about it was I may have missed my target. Uh, I think my cat's just a little bit too old for this, but uh, we're gonna keep it here and see if he likes it. He can always play on the outside of it. It is scratch material on the outside, on the roof and on the hood of the car. And he can still get inside the car. He is still small enough to get inside of it. Uh, I just, he's too big for me to be putting him inside there myself. So anyways, without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and close out this video. I really hope you enjoyed this unboxing and first impressions. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to see more content like this. Hit that bell notification or icon so you get uh, updates when I post to YouTube. And be sure to share this video with friends and family and tell them we review items from retail stores, uh, brick and mortar stores, as well as online retail stores. With that being said, my name is John. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure and hit that like button. I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.